thank you. Now that number, just in case you do need it, 317-327 and uh, 4622. So we'll have that on our website for you as well in case you need it. In the meantime, after nearly 30 years, a woman found dead along I-65 in Boone County finally has a name. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains what led to that breakthrough in this case that's really stumped investigators since 1992. DNA technology finally helped identify the woman who was known as Jane Doe and was buried in this small county-owned cemetery for decades before being exhumed just a couple of years ago. Still, despite knowing her name, the murder case remains unsolved. At the bottom of this hill along State Road 47 near I-65 on May 3, 1992, a farmer found a woman's body. The victim had been dead for several days, making her difficult to identify until now. Now I know who Jane Doe is. She's not just someone that, that, that I found in an unfortunate way, but she's a family member. He was working his field. He found my little sister on the side of the highway discarded like a piece of trash. Lenny says his older sister, 17-year-old Margaret Sinowski Jr., came from Toledo, Ohio when she went missing in 1992. One year after her death, detectives made a clay mold of the woman's face. In 2018, facial reconstruction images were released. And last year, a forensic artist released the newest sketch of the victim that, coupled with DNA evidence, finally helped give the family some answers. It's been uh, 30 years since I've seen Maggie. One last thing to wonder about and worry about. Is she okay? All that's gone. While advances in DNA technology over the last 30 years finally allowed the victim to be named, it's still unclear how the woman died or who killed her. We made a promise um, 30 years ago that we would find out who she was. We kept that promise and we will keep the promise moving forward that we will find out who's responsible. For his part, Margaret's brother hopes the case gives comfort to other families as well. There's hope out there for people that don't that don't know where your family members might be. And uh, I can tell you that I'm living proof. As for the homicide investigation, the sheriff did not have any detailed suspect information to release and no arrests have yet been made. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Today, charges were filed.